Welcome to the herbarium how-tos. Today we're going to learn how to press a plant. These are the materials you need. You need your specimens, you need some clippers, your notes that you took in your notebook, newspaper and a press. A press is composed of two woody frames with straps, corrugates and blotters in this order, one corrugate, one and two pieces of blotter and then another corrugate and then again two pieces of blotter and another corrugate and then at the end we have this foams. Let's start. Pressing a plant is very easy. You just place the plant in a nice way. In your newspaper you want some leaves facing up, some of them facing down. You want your flower to look nice. You don't want all of this soil. So that's it. Looks nice and pretty. You close it and then you put the same number that you put in your notebook. So in this case, this plant is 2,494. And I'm going to put my initials so everybody knows that this belongs to my collections and that's it. This is how you put it in the press. You put first the frame then you go with your corrugate, you have a piece of blotter, then your specimen, and again, another piece of blotter, and another corrugate. And that's it. You're ready for the next plant. In this case, we have enough material to make a duplicate. So we want to place each one of this in two different uh, sheets of newspaper. Um, when we place them in the sheet, we want them to be uh, kind of in the same way they are going to look in the specimen, in the actual specimen in the herbarium. So it depends on uh, how you, you like them. You want them may, maybe abundant, like I do. Maybe uh, if it is too much, you can clip some pieces. Like in this case, I'm going to clip this part because it's just on top of this other one and it's not adding any, any information and you have to be sure that you have some leaves facing up and some leaves facing down and that's it. So close this one and this one and same as in the previous one we're going to put the same number that you had in your notes so in this case is 2495 this is 1 and 2,495. This is the second because it's a duplicate. And in my notebook, I'm going to put that I have two of them. So I can make two labels for this one. We're ready with this one. And now we're going to move it to the press. Okay. Then let's put them in the press. As I said, one specimen. Then we make a nice sandwich. We put another blotter here. Again, the specimen, and again, another blotter, and then corrugate, and we can go for the third one. In this case, we have a three-dimensional um, specimen, so let's clip a piece for this sheet. And, oh, I think it's kind of big. Let's, let's remove a little bit here, and um, let's distribute it nicely. You see, it's, it's not totally flat. I don't like that. So when we press it later, we're going to add a foam to get it very flat. So I think it looks nice so far. Uh -huh. Don't forget the number. Now we're going to put this in the press and in this case as this sample is kind of three-dimensional and we want to be very flat so we're going to skip the second blotter and instead of that we're going to put a piece of foam so the foam will gently move all the pieces down and corrugate on top. The last step is to close the press so 
you put the, the second frame on top. Then we're going to make it very tight, as much as, as tight as you can with the straps. Maybe you want to tie it just a little bit first, and then you push it down and make it really tight. As tight as you can. Yeah. Now that your press is assembled, you want to put it to dry. So you need a dryer that you need to place in a safer area. And your dryer is just going to move air through the corrugates and in that way just dry all the material that we have here. You have to be very careful to set it in a secure area so don't burn your house. Um, that's it. Next tutorial, we're going to learn how to make labels for these specimens. You can make them in the meantime, these are dry. And we're going to use the information we are collecting in our notebook. So, see you there.